दिस सिंपली फॉर्म इज वॉट दी एसिड रेन अगर ये रेन के फॉर्म में हो रहा है पॉसिबली स्नो के फॉर्म में भी हो सकता है पॉसिबली स्लिट के फॉर्म में भी हो सकता है डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंडीशन हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू प्लूटस आई एस एंड माई सेल्फ अक्षय गुरु सो टुडे आई एम हेयर विथ वन वेरी वेल नोन टॉपिक रैदर दिस टॉपिक इज एसिड रेन और एज वेल एसिड प्रेसिपिटेशन इसी को और भी नेम से आइडेंटिफाइड होगा एसिड रेन एसिड स्नोफॉल और एसिड स्लिट एज वेल ठीक है सो मोर और लेस यू नो द ब्रॉड टर्मिनोलॉजी इज एसिड प्रेसिपिटेशन इसी का एक वेरियंट है एसिड रेन that is uh, rather applicable for the tropical countries so dekho acid rain kya hota hai this event actually uh, first noted in india like we park in 1974 and it was in the uh, uh, mumbai itself theek okay? hai uh, then apart from mumbai you will find almost now as of now you will find all mega cities are affected due to this particular event of acid rain and uh, in ncrds or school days you guys must be uh, you know must have gone through that case study of mathura oil refinery that led to the uh, corrosion of the taj mahal itself okay so ye sare ise context bhi hai and you know that this topic is rather very much important when it comes to examination that so ab dekho pehle start karte what it means by acid rain or acid precipitation the generally uh any precipitation or the the water that is falling down on the earth surface it usually has you know the ph right ph ab aapko pata hoga ph is basically what see the scale of hydrogen ion concentration 0 to 14 is that particular uh, you know scale that operates in and 7 is considered to be neutral 0 to 7 is rather acidic and 7 or 8 plus to 14 basic in nature right so the thing is you will find for the case of normal rainfall the normal rainfall is generally uh, having a bit acidic nature theek okay? hai considering the uh, presence of carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and kuch or natural pollutants in the atmosphere right jo uh, rainfall hoga na wo comparatively slightly oriented towards the acidic nature now however when what happen you know the more prominently two uh, pollutants okay two pollutants gases pollutants as in uh, carbon and carbon monoxide isme nahi aayega kyunki unme itna potential nahi ki wo ph itni lower kar sakta hai so two major potentials okay the pollutants as in you will find like nox and sox nox x it means now you have to you know that could be like no2 or no3 right or so2 so3 or so4 as well right so depend on jo uh, molecule banega now this nox nitrous oxide and sulfur oxide rather you know uh, uh, emitted by the uh, incomplete combustion of the fuel or uh, fossil fuel industries volcano or you will find biomass burning as well see so is sare processes se you will find that is what being released next slide mein aapko sources bhi mil jayenge india is the second largest producer of nitrous oxide in the uh, world so see ab dekho this nox and sox when they are concentrated in excess normally they are concentrated as well right they are having their presence in the atmosphere but their presence is not enough that ki ki rainfall ka jo normal ph hai usse bhi lower kar de but what happened due to you know excessive concentration of anthropogenic activities say for that matter uh, mining industries or jo bhi maine mention kiya tha biomass burning or vehicular pollution so this thing you know it increases their concentration in the atmosphere and what now this nox and sox they further react with the other pollutants okay or like see the gases and there you will find ye convert honge gases in a sense sorry uh, water h2o right h2o nox and sox both react with the water and then leads to ho h2so4 sulfuric acid and hno3 nitric acid and now this acids you know they will fall along with the water on the surface this simply form 
इज वॉट बी एसिड रेन अगर ये रेन के फॉर्म में हो रहा है पॉसिबली स्नो के फॉर्म में भी हो सकता है पॉसिबली स्लिट के फॉर्म में भी हो सकता है डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंडीशन ओके सो एसिड रेन इज सिंपली दैट पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन वेन एन एच एस टू एस ओ फोर एंड एच एन ओ थ्री राइट एंड मे बी सम वेरियंट एज वेल दे आर रिमेन इन एक्सेस इन दी फॉलोइंग डाउन ऑफ वॉटर और प्रेसिपिटेशन दैट लीड्स टू दी पी एच वेल बिलो फाइव पॉइंट सिक्स ओके कभी नॉर्मली यू विल फाइन और वेल बिलो 4.5 भी होता है जस्ट लाइक इन द डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज एज इन लाइक इफ यू कंसिडर द केस ऑफ नॉर्थ अमेरिका कैनेडा और यू विल फाइन यूरोपियन कंट्रीज तो यहाँ पे क्योंकि एक्सेसिव रिलीज था या आप चाइना में भी अगर देखोगे या इवन इंडिया एज वेल यूल फाइन यहाँ पर क्योंकि कंसेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है ऑफ द पोल्यूटिन दैट लीड्स टू द इंक्रीज इन दी सॉरी लोवरिंग ऑफ द फर्दर पी so but you what do you we usually we consider the ph if it lies below 5.6 it simply implies this precipitation is rather acidic in nature acid rain acid snow acid precipitation as well theek hai so dekho ye chemical reactions and all this thing i hope you guys are pretty much clear with the basic uh, you know understanding about the acid rain अब देखो इसके जो सोर्सेस है इन एक कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन यूपीएससी पर्टिकुलरली एंड मेनी अदर एग्जामिनेशन यू फाइन मेनी टाइम्स क्वेश्चंस वेर आस्ट ओके मेनी टाइम्स एंड इससे मैंने करंट अफेयर्स भी अटैच किया साइमल्टेनियसली लाइक सी द मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट एज इन दैट इज द सल्फर डाइऑक्साइड एसओ अब देखो इसके सोर्सेस कौन से हैं नेचुरल एंड एंथ्रोपोजेनिक विल फाइन वोल्कैनोस ये यूपीएससी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी का भी क्वेश्चन है कि वोल्कैनो रिलीज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पायरोप्लास्टिक मटेरियल एशियस oxides of sulfur oxides of nitro, uh, nitrogen right so yes absolutely oceans and decompositions of organic matters then anthropogenic fossil fuel burning industrial process and thermal power plant okay that again based on the coal and uh, those way petroleum as well so those leads to the release of sox in the atmosphere and that you know leads to or responsible for the acid precipitation further just like for the case of nitrous oxide the sources like they go fills the volcano like a lightning as well then decomposition of organic matter in the forest fire and the anthropogenic fossil fuel biomass burning and power plant based on thermal or uh, coal itself right so based on this scale india this is the latest report as in india in the world is the second largest nitrogen oxide emitter you know and the sources are like say uh, uh, it is india the world second largest sources of nitrous oxide a greenhouse gas that heats up the atmosphere far more than carbon dioxide itself it has a huge potential see this nitrous oxide uh, and even sulfur oxide as well you will find responsible for the acid rain and equally responsible for the ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एज वेल सो आपको यह भी समझना पड़ेगा कि इनके वेरियस इंपैक्ट किस किस वे में होते हैं ओके सो Nearly 11% of such global man-made emissions in 20 were from India, and top only by the China, 16%. So we are now only lagging behind by the China, and possibly may overcome in the future. So such as ammonia, the uh, uh, the provision of manure, okay, uh, 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 agriculture fertilizer, more appropriately, to the soil, it leads to this release. And yes, last decade, into emission from the human activity is responsible for 6.4% of the effective radiating forces of the greenhouse. gases theek hai so ye do prominent sources hai apart from this there are equally like formic acid jo forest fire se release hoga aur biomass burning se bhi release hoga then carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide i guess you guys are pretty much aware about ki inke sources kya honge so respiration decomposition uh, and the emissions by the plant and these are all most common sources of this emission of pollutants next case what are the types of this acid rain okay the uh, you will find so see the types of acid rain there are like two types of acid rain okay or acid uh, precipitation as in we'll find ek to hoga ड्राई डिपोजिशन एंड दी अदर मस्ट बी दी वेट डिपोजिशन अब देखो क्या होता है मतलब ड्राई और वेट डिपोजिशन में डिफरेंस क्या यूल फाइन ड्राई डिपोजिशन इज वॉट सिंपली वेन दी ड्यू टू दी वेरियस एक्टिविटीज फॉर इफ यू से फॉर एग्जाम्पल वोलकैनो और द वेहीकल आर रिलीज और दी यू नो अदर एक्टिविटीज इफ दिस एसो एक्स एंड एनो एक्स हैव बिन रिलीज राइट इन टू द एटमोस्फियर अब ये क्या होंगे दे मे यू नो डायरेक्टली और इन अ ड्राई वे फॉल ऑन दी सर्फेस इट सर्फ ठीक है That kind of deposition gets, you know, uh, like uh, uh, on the water surface. 
on maybe the plant surface as well or maybe any other water body what happens due to ye fir chemical banayenge that kind of deposition that simply in the absence of any kind of precipitation or rainfall that is simply the dry deposition itself okay i hope you are pretty much clear but what happen many a times that this dry deposition this so2 and nox in the you know the wind flow kya karenge ye this may rather you know migrate to some other place possibly or maybe aisa ho sakta hai yahan par kya hoga cloudal formation ban gaya theek hai cloudal formation it means having enough moisture content now this uh, uh, what this sox and nox nox then reacts with the water and may lead to precipitation that is highly acidic in nature right isi ko fir hum bolenge acid precipitation or acid rainfall i hope the difference between dry deposition and the wet deposition is pretty much clear to you guys okay ab dekho now then what are the effects or impacts of the acid rain okay uh is the acidity the directly question aaya hai nahi but you will find absolutely bahut probable question ho sakta hai in the various examinations theek hai uh like say the very first impact you will find jaise case study humne dekhi thi ki it leads to the corrosion of the monuments itself hai na artifacts and monuments are you know subjected to the corrosion activity led by the acid rain apart from this it has a huge bearing on the aquatic and marine life kyunki obvious sa case hai uh, oceanic surface pe waise bhi sabse zyada uh, rainfall hota hai so acid or ocean acidification is e- equally you know result of this ocean acidification and there are many instances you know the the river aquatic life has been degraded because of the this race rainfall this is what the simply the sign board in the us jahan pe rivers or streams you know are excessively polluted due to the acid rain presence okay so corrosion ho sakta hai ye ho sakta hai even this aquatic life has you know the very survival uh, you know limit for the acid itself jaise agar aap dekhoge to you will find uh, uh, frogs frogs can survive up to the acidity of 4 ph okay or snail can survive hardly up to 6 so what you know jaise hi acidity decrease hogi 0.1% se bhi decrease hogi change hogi will find that leads to a very huge variation over on the uh, aquatic life in fact ocean acidification the case ye hai the uh, average acidity okay or ph of the ocean is 8.1 however this has now declined to 7.9 7.9 ph now you will consider ki sir ye to hardly 0.2% se variation but believe me guys when it comes to 70 uh, 1% of the overall earth surface to so socho wahan pe 0.1 se bhi change hona is you know how much acid it rather would require to so, yahan pe 0.2% se decline hui hai it means what that there is excessive acid concentration now in the ocean surface so absolutely this is what a growing problem for the humanity as it next we'll find apart from this dekho fish ka matlab baki sare modes of life pe bhi impact hoga it this acid may lead to bio accumulation and magnification as well hai na so it it may enter the food chain this acid and may be converted form enter secondary pollutants as well and then leads to some issues then and apart from this health impact bhi ho sakta hai adverse health impact you'll find contributing to skins and respiratory diseases plant marbi impact hoga productivity soil degradation and water pollution you'll find the uh, many in the northeastern states now of the india they have registered a decline in ph now obvious a case if ph agar change hoge that would lead to impact on the overall productivity as well then detrimental effects on aquatic ecosystem corrosion of structure and reduce visibility uh, uh, as in aur ye winter mein hoga to aur bhi zyada iske severe consequences honge so i hope you guys are now pretty much clear with the concept of acid rain its type the reason for and then the impacts of ab dekho in order to deal then with the uh the deal with the acid rain as in see the very first fact you need to understand ki acid rain is not a regional issue right acid rain is not a regional issue it is rather you will find ki kahi ek location pe pollution ho sakta hai and maybe those pollutants then they are moving towards the uh, towards the other region ab wahan par ye rain hoga so acid rain is not rather something that is locally you know uh, uh, responsible for rather you will find iske transboundary impacts bhi ho sakte hai okay to so, jaise for example pollution hoga europe mein aur europe se aayega asia wale ya koi ek country se kisi aur ek country mein for that matter to deal with then we have the convention on long range transboundary air pollution 
1979 which was signed in however india is a, not a party to this convention considering the various problems on the you know the uh, points of uh, control over the, the points and means to control over the uh, pollutant it is an international agreement agree, uh, addressing transboundary air pollution establishing a regional framework across europe north america russia and former eastern bloc nations okay so that deals with the to control air pollutants and ultimately the acid rain and precipitation so this is what the uh, one legal agreement agreement in the domain to control this acid precipitation so i hope you guys are now pretty much clear with dekho is par ek question bhi aaya in the uh, examination 2013 mein easy absolutely easy nature uh, question tha jaise acid rain is caused by the pollution of uh, uh, sorry caused by the pollution like in the environment by and answer must be nitrous oxide and sulfur oxide so answer is d for that matter theek hai so go, don't go for carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide ye mainly ye do prominent reasons honge for this particular case so the, i hope you guys are now having pretty much clarity over on the acid rain acid precipitation if still you have any doubt just don't forget to comment in the comment box please like and subscribe to our channel thank you guys